Okay, so in this video, uh, we're going to go through some integration by parts examples. Um, some are indefinite integrals, some are definite integrals, so a bit of a mixture, uh, just so we can get some practice. So the first one, x sine x. So u will be the x, and dv by dx will be the sine x. So using the late rule here, so du by dx will be 1, and the integral of dv by dx will be minus cosine of x. OK, so we've got uh, u times v, so minus x cosine of x, take away the integral of v du by dx, so minus cosine x dx. Now, we've got a minus sign there and a minus sign there, so I can knock that one out and bring it into a plus. So we've got minus x cosine of x, and then the integral of cosine is sine, and I've got that plus c constant of integration. So x sine x dx integrates to minus x cosine x plus sine x plus c. Okay, so that's the first one. Right, let's have a look at number two. Uh, we've got 2x cosine of 4x dx evaluated between 3 pi over 8 and 5 pi over 8. So the u will be the 2x, the dv by dx will be cosine of 4x. So du by dx will just be 2, and v will be 1 quarter sine 4x. So integrating there. Okay. So, we've got uh, u times v, so 2x times a quarter sine 4x, so 1 half x sine 4x, evaluate between 3 pi over 8 and 5 pi over 8. Take away the integral of v du by dx, so 1 half sine 4x dx, evaluate between... Uh, 3 pi over 8 and 5 pi over 8. OK. Right, let's keep going. So we've got the 1 half x sine of 4x. 3 pi over 8 to 5 pi over 8. Take away. So integrating this. So we're going to get minus 1 eighth cosine 4x evaluated between uh, the 3 pi over 8 and 5 pi over 8. OK. Now I'm going to bring those two together into one bracket. So 1 half x sine 4x and two negatives, so plus 1 eighth cosine 4x evaluated between 3 pi over 8 and 5 pi over 8. OK, right. So first of all, substituting in the 5 pi over 8. So sine of 4 lots of 5 pi over 8. Oh, let's make sure I'm in degrees, which I'm not. OK, let's try that again. So sine of 4 times 5 times pi over 8 is 1. So we're going to get half of 5 pi over 8. So 5 pi over 4. Oh, sorry, 5 pi over 16. Get that right plus uh, cosine, so cosine of 4 lots of 5 uh, pi over 8 is 0, so that's 0. Take away, substituting the 3 pi over 8, so sine of 4 lots of 3 times pi over 8 is minus 1, so this will be minus a half of 3 pi over 8, so minus 3 pi over 16. Okay, and then substituting to here, cosine of 4 lots of 3 times pi over 8 is 0, so that's gone. Okay, so we've got 5 pi over 16 plus 3 pi over 16, so 8 pi over 16, which will just be pi over 2. Okay, so this integrates just pi over 2. Okay. 
Right. So that's number two. Let's have a look at number three. So we've got the integral of x cubed log of x dx. So late would put the log x as the u and the dv by dx as the x cubed. So du by dx, differentiating log will get me 1 over x. Integrating x cubed is 1 quarter x to the 4. So the integral is u times v, so 1 quarter x to the 4 log x, take away the integral of v times du by dx. So a quarter x to the 4 times 1 over x is a quarter x cubed dx. So our final answer will be 1 quarter x to the 4 log x, take away 1 sixteenth x to the 4 plus c, adding 1 to the power divided by the new power. OK, so that's the answer to number 3. OK, let's have a look at number 4. Uh, 4x log x dx evaluated between 1 and e. So the u will be the log x, and the dv by dx will be the 4x. So du by dx is 1 over x, and v will be the integral of 4x, which is 2x squared. So evaluating this integral, we've got u times v, so 2x squared log x evaluated between 1 and e. Take away the integral between 1 and e of v du by dx. So that would just be 2x dx. So let's leave that bracket alone. This integrates to x squared between 1 and e. OK, so let's bring those two brackets together. 2x squared log x minus x squared evaluated between 1 and e. So substituting in e, uh, log of e is just 1. So I'll get 2e squared take away e squared. Substituting the 1, well log of 1 is just 0. Take away 1 squared, so take away 1. So I've got 2e squared take away e squared, so e squared plus one. Okay, and that is the answer to number four.